And so she has become so proud, of course, they are already in the OR. And so when he says, you know, it's a, they have a lot of guinea pigs in the hospital, in the medical center, because it's a big medical center with about five or six operating rooms, ORs. The British call them theater, because there's a lot of drama in the operating room. So they say the theater. But over there, they have five or six theaters at Loma Linda, but she supervises one of them. And when there are so many doctors that would come around, and these doctors are the ones that are kind of the guy, I'm sorry, I have nothing against the doctors because I love all of them, that I have friends who are doctors. But the problem is sometimes they have that God feeling already in the OR. And so when, you know, in kind of revenge, my daughter would say, excuse me, doctor, do you have anything to do with this case, this patient now? If you don't have, please step out of the room. I don't need you here. I'll get confused with counting the utensils, the instruments, and all of that. And so please, I only need the main doctors that would do the operation. Please stay, step out. There are so many who are, who are uh, only doing residency and are in surgery and so forth. And there's just too many causing confusion in the OR. See, that feeling is felt in many places, many hospital settings. Uh, there are Filipino nurses at Houston. About 10 of them arrived from Hong Kong, Filipino nurses. And in Houston, they were in working in this big hospital. And the doctors in the States are not different from the doctors in the Philippines who also have that God feeling. And they could not understand, of course, the English of the Americans. And they assume that we all understand. And that has been demonstrated in many situations. Like when I buy a McDonald's drive in, there's a, excuse me, blah, blah, blah. I cannot understand what they're talking about. So the doctors there also were just like that, assuming that everybody.